Welcome to Dickens World. It's not called Dickens Books, it's called Dickens World. Um, and it, it, it's, it's the world within which he lived. And we've, we've taken the characters and themes of his books to recreate that, really. <laughs> He's a, a, a gentle rogue, a gentle rogue, not too nasty. Um, he, he, he fought in the Battle of Waterloo, and um, I don't think he's ever really got over that. Um, but yeah, he's, he's quite learned. He's very streetwise, knows how to land himself. There ain't no crooks on these streets going to bother Ned Fiendish, I can tell you that for certain. Nice to see you holding still at last. Nice to see you've got rid of the ants that were obviously causing you a problem earlier. We've got friends coming from America and Australia in January, uh, no, June. June. So we'll ah, be we've got a couple of odd days when we think, well, ideal, isn't it? And then we can go to the, the museum at the, the Royal Engineers. So it's, it's great, I think, to bring people into the area. Should know more. Seeing as he came from Rochester, we should know a lot more. But not very much. Maybe I should go to the bookshop and buy some books. Holiday makers who, who come to our country um, uh, it, it, it do have a certain expectation, I think, of finding this kind of landscape in London, um, and they can find it here. Um, we, you know, uh, and we're offering a, a you know a jolly good day out. It will be you know entertaining. Um, so I think any anybody who enjoys any kind of a visitor attraction will find this you know a, a world class offer.
I think he would have loved it because he loved to see people enjoying himself and he had a very sharp eye for the latest fad and the latest craze. On the other hand, of course, he did say in his will that he didn't want to be the subject of any monument or memorial. He said, I rest my claim to the remembrance of my country upon my published works. And I think that that is what we are actually celebrating here.